go on and suck some of this stuff up. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. I want it to work really, really bad, but I just don't know how well. Let's see if we really screwed this thing up or not. That thing looks awesome. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. I've got a really good one for you today. So I'm going to do something I've never actually done before, but we're going to film it and I'm going to pretend to be an expert like I do on all of these videos because I really don't know what I'm doing. What we're going to do is we're actually going to core shot some baits. We're back in the shop. We're going to make some baits. And if you don't know what core shotting is, basically it's where you have a stream of color through the center of your bait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to mix up some clear and some red, and we're gonna make some red core shotted baits. And here's what we're gonna be, uh, well, you know what? Roll the intro and we'll get back to it. Just, just roll the intro, Brett, go. All right, so. Let me show you what we're working with. So the two baits that we're gonna be working with today are the Cinco Mold, and we're also gonna work with the Ripper, the little three and a half inch swim baits. So I went to Walmart and I picked up some of this stuff. No, we're not actually having a yard sale or a garage sale, but I need the metal. And they were out of this little doohickey right here, which is really just a yard sign. It's in the yard sign section. Focus. Focus. These little things right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them, we're gonna measure them, we're gonna chop them up and put them in the mold. A uh, little rod in each little bait. It should fit from what I've read online. I saw it from a guy on Facebook. Um, so if it's on Facebook, that's on the internet. It has to be true, correct? We're gonna do the same thing for these baits over here, and uh, then we're gonna shoot them. We're actually not even mixing up any red, we're just gonna remelt some of the uh, red I've already got. If we need to, we'll actually put a little bit of clear in them, um, because I really don't want that to be too, too red, um, and it really is cherry red. This is gonna be clear, we're gonna put a little bit of glitter in it. We've of course got our stirs, our clamps, injectors, and always your mask. So let's get started, and let's start chopping these things up, measuring them out in a yeah, let's go. All right, so first things first, I need to chop these things basically to that length about right there where I can close it. Um, I think that'll probably be good. Let me get a Sharpie. We need to mark these little metal pieces so I can chop them to the appropriate length. I think that should be plenty to close. I want it to go back as far as I can. I wonder if I can get it all the way to the very back. I bet you I could. So, sorry about the view there earlier. I'm going all the way to the back with this little rod and I want to cut it right there, right in the center of the sprue where I've got just enough length. Does that make sense? So just the center of the sprue right over here and uh, we should be good to go. I'm gonna do four of those, eight including the other one and then we're gonna measure out yeah, I definitely am glad I bought the other set of rods. So we're gonna measure out for the ripper as well. So uh, let's do this. Let's get at least one set done for each, just in case. And uh, then we'll uh, get to heating up. So let's uh, chop this thing up. All right, so I am back. And here's what we've done. <clears throat> With these molds, we've cut our little pieces. So we're going all the way to the tip of the bait. And those should run right down the middle of, uh, of our mold. Those are our little rods right there. They're gonna run right down the middle. So I just cut those so we can shoot around it. So what the goal is, is we're gonna shoot clear first and it's gonna fill in all the outside. Then we're gonna pull those rods out and reshoot again and it should fill in with red. So we should have a center core shotted of red is what we're going for. Doing the same thing on these swim baits where the last rib is, is where we're trying to aim for this thing. So I'm probably gonna do something like that uh, or something really close to it. If I can get it in the, the tail just a little bit like, like you see right here, if I can get that in the tail just a little bit, I know it's upside down. Let's do it with this one. If I could get that in the tail, that'd be pretty good because the tail is actually gonna be the, the red and the body's gonna be clear with a nice line, a tube of red. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Let me cut the rest of these. I need five more of these things and uh, then we'll be ready to start shooting our clear. So let's do that. All right, so there you go. We have rods in all of the baits now. 
So what we need to do is we need to close these up and uh, you'll see where those are as it relates to the tail. Let me zoom in. So it relates to the tail, we just go just past that last little rib and uh, we definitely have it in the front of the, uh, the sprue on each of those, but just past the last little rib. And uh, oh yeah, this should be fun. And this should look awesome once we're done. Whatever color you put on that outside of the body, like we're doing clear, make sure it's uh, at least pretty translucent if you do a color. Like I could have done like a, a very light green and red and been real festive for Christmas, but I decided let's uh, do something that's a little bit more universal that we can actually use. And I think uh, clear and red or clear and green on both of these would look pretty good. So let's do that real quick. Start mixing and uh, get going. As y'all know, I use dead on plastics. And uh, this has been sitting out for a minute, so hopefully all the bubbles are out of it. As you know, we're probably gonna get some micro bubbles. Not really too worried about those. I've explained in a couple other videos why that is. Uh, but we're gonna start with the clear. It's gonna take the longest. And then we'll also start melting our reds once we get the clear, because clear has to go in the molds first. So let's do that. And uh, let's uh, get this trip going. So I'm gonna bring y'all back once the plastic's done. So I'm gonna sit in the microwave probably for, I don't know, probably four minutes total. But I'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay guys, so we've got our nice clear plastisol. What we're gonna start off with, I think we're gonna do a little bit of an inverse color here. So I think what we're actually gonna do is do a little bit of red glitter. Not a crazy amount, but you know, some red glitter to go with our red, uh, red core shots. And it's a real fine glitter. I mean, we're talking, what is this? This is fire red. It doesn't really even tell me the size of it, but it's it's pretty fine glitter. And that's more than enough. It's a, I may have actually gone too much, but that'll be fine. It, it's, this is what this is, is it's creating all these weird things that you wouldn't normally see on the shelf. Right, so the thing that I forgot that was absolutely critical um, is the rods. You absolutely need to get some worm oil or you can actually use vegetable oil, like regular like cooking vegetable oil. And you're gonna to wanna to lube up your rod. Um, if you don't lube up your rod, uh, well, it's just important to always lube your rod uh, because if you do not lube the rod up, when you go to take the bait out, um, you're really gonna be just yanking on your worm for a while. Oh, and the innuendo there is just, I mean, just just all over the place, is it not? Always lube your rod before you uh, go doing this. And uh, it'll save you a lot of time when you go to actually take the rod out of the bait. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot, shall we? Sink those first. All right, and let's see if we can, uh, we got enough here to do the swim baits. Don't have a good feeling about this. I think we're only going to be able to do that one. We'll, uh, we'll have to get some more of this clear done in a minute after these go. But we should have done completely our Cinco molds. This mold actually is not shut all the way, so that's why I didn't shoot that one. Um, but we should have one thing of swim baits too. So far, I, I don't think it's bad. I think we're actually doing okay. So let's uh, reload this. And uh, I'll reset that swim bait. We'll get that going here shortly. All right. While I'm waiting on these to get going, I'm or to to set up, um, which for the most part they're probably already there. I'm going to start warming the red up so we can have it ready because um, that's going to take a minute. So it's in the microwave for I'll put it in there for two minutes. We'll see what what happens with it. Let's crack these open. It should be set because the mold was cold anyway. So let's see what we got here. Please have done okay. They did do okay. 
So we've got these like molds with rods in them, which is exactly what we need. So we're actually just going to tear these off. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. You can't. Let's move y'all down. So we've got these guys, just a worm with a rod in it. And we're literally going to just slide. This is where that worm hole helps. Slide that out so we've got just like a hollow body. Now here's the key. That uh, end right there, so there's the end, there's the front of it, this is the back of it. We need to trim just a little bit off. We need that to be open, like that. There, I opened it. Hopefully you can see that. So it is fully hollow, and now that it's fully hollow, it can just go right back in the mold, um, ready to be filled with red. All right, so as you can see, I put them back in their spot. There they are. They're clear with red flake. We're just going to close these guys back up. And that's ready for red to be shot in there. And hopefully we'll end up with something awesome after we're said and done. And that can go back in there. That's going to be part of our swim baits. Because so I think I gave myself just enough for the swim baits. Let's unlock the other Senko. Do the same thing. There they are rods and all in them and uh, we're just going to break them up and pull those rods out. The cool thing about this is you get two chances so it looks like right there I've got like an air bubble. Uh, when I go to fill it back up I bet you I fill in that air bubble so that's pretty nice. A little air bubble right there. don't know if y'all can see it but that's what we're going to do so let's tear these off. Make sure the butt end of the worm has an opening. Again it doesn't matter the size of the opening if you wanted to have a like an actual like really red tail. You know it would be also really good doing clear and having a chartreuse chartreuse uh, core shot. That would actually look really good. Have a little bit of a chartreuse tail. You could also do that with uh, if you wanted a black worm with a chartreuse tail you could definitely do that. Now you wouldn't be able to see it through the worm but it would make it where the tail is a chartreuse for sure. That would probably be a really good effect. Thinking of ideas all over the place in here right now. Alright. Those are closed up too. So our Senkos are ready to go. Let's check on these half of swim baits I've got. See how they turned out. Mold of swim baits. Okay. Not too bad. One did not get a full tail. I think the uh, the bars are a little bit too long, and I'll show you why shortly. Let me get these uh, let me get these detached. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job with the camera tonight. I've got some flashing. Y'all see that where it just overspills the side? That means that uh, the bar there is just too it's too much. I need to trim those down a little bit or push them toward the front. I'll probably just push them toward the front. Um, so what we're going to do actually, so we're going to scrap all of our swim baits for the moment because I'm not happy with really all of them or any of them I should say, not all of them. Yeah, I'm not really happy with any of those. So we're going to start over um, with the swim baits. What I'm going to do, since I'm having trouble getting them closed, We're uh, going to shorten these up a little bit. So hang tight. I'm going to shorten these rods up a little bit and uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, so as you can see, I have uh, shortened these up a little bit, especially the, the, the top and the bottom one. The middle one can actually be, be a little bit longer, but the top and the bottom one definitely have to be shorter. Um, so we shorten those up a bit. So I'm going to close this one up. And uh, we're going to, yeah, it closes a heck of a lot better. We're going to get to warming up this plastisol again with the clear, and um, we're going to shoot these. I have a feeling we'll have a much better result. In the meantime, we're going to work on the reds for these. All right, so I've got our red done. It's really nice, deep red. It's got some red powder or some red glitter already in it. We're actually going to give it just a touch of silver glitter as well because these are going to be, you know, swim baits also. And I want to give it that little bit of a flash. 
So we're going to have a little bit of red flake that was already in with the reused reds. And uh, we're also going to have a little bit of silver as well, which I think is going to give it just a little bit more of a pop. A little bit of yin and yang, you know? Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Let's go a little bit more on the silver. We're going to need to warm this up. So the big thing about shooting your core shots uh, that I have read who almost put more red in there, that would have been bad. Well, not bad, but you know, there is no bad in, in bait making, just not as intended. Uh, the one thing I did read about core shooting is when you shoot your cores, which red is going to be our core in this instance, um, you got to make sure the plastazole is very hot. Um, just so it fills in the entire cavity, makes it a little bit easier to shoot because you are going to get a little bit of resistance because there's just, you're not hitting all the air escapes when you're shooting this. So yeah, I like that a lot. I can dig that color. So let's throw this back in the microwave and then, uh, then we'll definitely, uh, hit it in the cores of these, uh, Senkos. And while we're waiting on our red, our clear is already melted back down. So we're going to see if we can't inject this really quickly into our swim baits and hopefully catch those guys up to the process of what we're doing with our Senkos. So let's do that real quick. All right, we should be good to go. Make sure I apply a lot of pressure. Make sure I fill the tails on these things. But not too much so we don't have any flashing. Now we hope for the best. All right, our reds should be good. So I'm gonna sit these to the side. So we've just injected our, uh, our swim baits. Sit those to the side and we actually are done with our clear. So we budgeted well on that one. Let's bring our uh, Senkos back over here. Let's get our red out. I got very close to burning this plastisol, it looks like. Very close. 382. 382. Pretty close, but not there. We didn't cross 400, which is a good thing. All right, so let's shoot that while that thing is still very, very hot. Let's go on and suck some of this stuff up. And uh, let's go for these Senkos and hope for the best here. It maybe worked, but I don't know. I just don't know. It didn't let me inject a whole lot, but there, was, there probably wasn't a whole lot to inject. All we can do is hope for the best on those. We're gonna see. Like I said, this is my first attempt. You guys are kind of like my guinea pigs on this. Uh, never done that before, so we're gonna Hope for the best. All right, let's crack these guys open and see where we're at. Hopefully we've got better results this go around than we did last go around. It does look like these turned out a lot better. And look at those guys. Nice, clear swim baits. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull the tails out. We're gonna carefully pull the swim bait out. So this is what we're left with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break the sprue off of it, throw that back in my jug. We're gonna pull this thing off. Could have used a little bit more worm oil on those, but I didn't. Okay, now here's the fun part. Take some scissors. So we've got our swim bait, All right? It's got the opening there. Take your scissors and right where that swim bait opened up, just like we did with the Senkos, I need a little bit of a hole there. So I just cut the tail off to give myself a hole. So this is the part that's going to be red plus the line through the, through the swim bait. It's going to have a red tail right there too. And then all we're going to do, just like we did with our Senko molds, we're just going to place this guy back in there just like we found it like so. Ba-boom. So let's do that to all of them and uh, we should be good to go. Bam, in the mold. Close her up. Center down. And we're ready to inject some red. As soon as we're done with uh, that, 
And then we will uh, crack open our Senkos. So let's check our red real quick. What's our temperature? 380. Man, I'm killing it with the temperatures tonight. Let's inject this son of a gun. Let's go. Here we go. See, I just feel like it didn't get all of it. That one I do. That one I felt like got all of it. But I just don't know how well this is going to work. All right, let's set these to the side. We'll let them cool. Let's check our Senkos and see if we really screwed this thing up or not. Um, no, we didn't screw it up at all. Check that out. That is a red core shotted Senko. That thing looks awesome. Jeez Louise, that is that is awesome looking. I'm gonna hang that up. Now the only thing I we need to remember is that red could possibly bleed. So probably not the greatest color idea with clear and red because it's probably gonna bleed over. Um, but for the sake of this, dude, that looks so good. This is really just to give y'all an idea of what you can do. It's just a nice little clear Senko with a red line through it. I'm really excited about the swim baits. The swim baits should look good if they turned out. That's exciting. That's really exciting. Please have turned out. Please. Let's take a, while we're waiting on these, let's take a closer look at these guys. Look at this. Look at that. How cool is that? Core shots, people. Core shots. I hope, but I don't know. I'm gonna pull it away just in case. You know, like I'm keeping a secret here. I don't know why I ever doubted it. Look at that. I don't know why I ever doubted. Now, let's imagine for a second if I would have gone with clear with green. Ho, 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 man. If I would have gone with green on this thing, are you kidding me? That would have looked sick. Or even blue. You could go blue on that. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. We are doing things tonight, folks. I should have done green. Green would have looked so sick on these things. Clear body with a green core shot and tail. Man, what was I thinking? All right, so we did have one little miscue. This little piggy did not get a full tail. One little miscue. The rest of them did. How about that? Man, gosh. So we had one little misfire there. One little misfire. I can dig that though. Gosh, that's an awesome little color. And see, the fun thing is this can go right into the rib. I mean, don't even have to, have to save it. All right, so let's take a look at these guys real quick. We've got our Senkos right there, clear with the red core shot. And look at those guys. Swim baits, clear with red all the way through with a perfectly red tail. I really like those things. Those look awesome. Now granted, again, you've got to imagine with me, what if I would have put green? If I would have done green with a green tail, oh my gosh, it'd been like baby bass. Or I could do blue with shad. I mean, you could make a, such a realistic shad. I was kind of going for like a bloodline in there, um, but it came out a little bit too red. It's still gonna work though. Gosh, it's such a good color. Think of the things you can do with this thing. I mean, for real. Imagine all the color combinations you could come up with for these. Get in the comments right now and tell me all the things that you want to see done with this. Because, man, do I have some ideas. I know you guys have to have some ideas too. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, all we did is went to Walmart, and for a dollar, you can get those little, those little yard signs, chop them down to size, put them in your do-it molds. I mean, these are nothing more than like just regular do-it molds. They're, 
They're just your regular sand cast do it molds. That's why they don't have a super, super clear finish. They've got that sort of haze because they are sand cast. They're not CNC molds. Uh, like some of our other molds that we have, we do have some CNC molds that I may try that with just to give them a, you know, it's going to look amazing. But I was in a red mood tonight, so we did the red. Again, I think the colors you could do with that could be, I mean, endless, the combinations of colors you could do with that. But that's to give you guys an idea of what you can do if you have molds like that, a cheap, cheap way to turn them into a core shot mold. Again, I heard about this on Facebook. I can't remember the guy who, who said it, but I thought I'd bring it to the channel because I know some of you guys that actually watch have some of those molds, and this gives you another thing you can do. When you're making your own soft plastics, the sky is the limit. The only thing that will limit you on what you can do with them is you. So think outside the box, do something like that, and uh, man, those are purdy. Those things are purdy. As always, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. You know, red, hit the red subscribe button. Turn it gray, uh, hit the ding dong notifications if you wanna be notified anytime I drop a new video. Outside of that, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button, leave a comment below and if you wanna see any different colors of those and we'll definitely do it. And by the way, I'm probably gonna have those as a giveaway very, very soon, one of those two. Probably the Senkos because we didn't really get the uh, swim baits completed. I got one that was kind of a failure. It didn't fill the tail all the way in. That's going to happen when you experiment. So again, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one later.